Legend has it that there is a sword so old in Minecraft that everybody who plays Minecraft has forgotten how to craft it. It's known as the world's oldest Minecraft sword. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to craft that sword right here, right now. And if you are as excited as I am to craft the world's most oldest sword in Minecraft, you better hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I personally have never seen the oldest Minecraft sword ever, but I've heard so many different stories about it from so many different Minecrafters. But like we said, people have forgotten how to craft the world's oldest sword in Minecraft. So I'm going to be reminding you guys how to do it and even kind of reminding myself how to do it. So as you can see right now, I've got the ultra useless modern sword. We've got to change that. We don't want this ultra useless modern sword and check it out, guys. I'm like in this random jungle area and everything here is so dark and whoa, the crafting bench is talking to me. Uh, what are you doing? Here. This is the middle of a jungle. Why are you carrying around this ultra modern sword? Okay, that's a great question. I don't know why. You know I have been placed here about 2,000 years ago. What? That's older than my grandma. The life of a crafting table. If you could craft something on me, I would be so happy. Wait, I just got an idea. What would you say about crafting the world's oldest sword? Yes, that is perfect. So, let's start. Here, behind this wall, there's a set of gears. Take them and gather resources to craft this thing. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first crafting recipe to craft the world's oldest sword. Oh my gosh, people have died apparently. Look, there's blood and skeletons. People have died trying to craft the world's oldest sword. I better be careful. Holy moly, look at all these items. We've got shovels, axes, pickaxe, a sword. We've got quartz dust. And even diamonds, ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy. So the first thing we have to make, wait, what the heck is this? Hidden chest altar, what does that mean? We've got a smeltery over here, whoa, this map is becoming crazy on us. Look at all the plants over here too, man, this map is crazy. Okay, sorry guys, I'm getting off focused. So the sword, like look at the things that this can break. It can break all kinds of things. But I mean, obviously the most important thing right now, we need a lot of wood. We've gotta make ourselves a bowl and oh my gosh, this is a fast ax. So we've gotta craft ourselves a, uh, a bowl. We're gonna need a little bit of wooden planks over here. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna come over here to this crafting bench. I'm gonna go and craft those sticks. And let's craft ourselves some bowls while we're at it. We need to put it like this, like this, like this, and kablam! A wooden barrel. Holy cow, this thing is cool. You successfully constructed the wooden barrel. Now go to Canyon and mine some iron for the bucket. You will need to fill the barrel with water. By the way, there are some paths. Try them, explore the jungle. You might find something interesting, but don't go too far away so you don't get lost. Well, thank you, Mr. Crafting Bench. I will say this, I think this may be the nicest crafting bench I've ever met, but I need to go fill this barrel with water. I also need to go to the canyon and I need to go get myself, apparently, some iron to make a bucket. So over here in the smeltery, what do we got? Oh, I just found ourselves some water, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, can I fill this up? I need to fill this barrel up, dadgummit. So it looks like the barrel is unable. It says can be graced on, oh, I've got to place this down. So if I place this down on this grass block right here, I now need to go get a bucket to fill up the barrel. That makes so much more sense now. What is this? Apparently there's a hidden chest over here. I don't even know if I want to go down there right now. That sounds dangerous. There's an altar this way? Whoa. That, my friends, is one of the coolest looking Minecraft altars I've ever seen. But where the heck is the canyon? Maybe it's down here? Is it down here? No, 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 this is gonna be the secret chest. Okay, well, it's not so secret if there's a big sign pointing to it. In fact, I just found iron. I don't even need to mine iron. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this iron back over here to the crafting bench, craft ourselves a bucket. We're gonna get some water and we're gonna put it in that barrel. Bam, shkablam, bucket acquired. Okay, now it's telling 
telling me to fill the bucket with water, and then it's telling me to drop a piece of rotten flesh into it. I swear that I remember like ancient ones were hiding a chest, which it's somewhere nearby a cave. Wait, I had just found that cave. So that means all we have to do is skablam, fill this bad mamba jamba ramba with some water, which for some reason, I don't think I'm able to collect this water source. Can I collect this water source? Oh, there we go. And then I've got to put this in the barrel and then drop a piece of rotten flesh inside of it? This is weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to drop the rotten flesh. <laughs> Holy cow, that was awesome. What the heck? It just gave me slime? Wait, this isn't slime. It's called gel. Oh, isn't it magnificent? Dot, dot, dot. And now, after this short moment of distraction, mix this thing in barrel filled with water, obviously. Hemp and gel. What? So now I've got to use my sword to go collect some hemp and then mix it with... This is freaking crazy, man. Okay, so now I've got to mix the gel with the hemp and then I've also got to go get more water over here to put inside the barrel. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared right now. Like, I know we're about to craft the world's oldest sword, but this is just getting a little bit too bizarre for me. So I'm gonna throw the gel in here. Okay, and then the hemp. God, this is crazy, man. This barrel is literally magical. Okay, what did I just get? Uh, I just got hemp pulp. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, and now craft this and drop the hemp pulp on top of it so it can dry. So now we've got to build a hanger. Guys, this Minecraft world just keeps getting weirder and weirder, but why am I having so much fun playing it? Okay, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta make ourselves a little bit more sticks because limited edition fire stocking stuffers. I'll show you what's inside these amazing stuffers. Brand new distressed fire t-shirt. Yo, yo, fire gun. Earbuds on sale now. In the middle and shkablam. We just made a hanger. I don't think I've ever made a hanger in Minecraft in my entire life. So this is kind of a first. We'll put it over here next to the bucket. Or sorry, next to the barrel. So there's the hanger. And then now I have to drop the hemp pulp to hang. This is so crazy, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, it must be dry now. Okay, what? Already written piece of paper? At this point, I'm guessing that you are wondering why do you need to make all of these things? Yes, I am wondering that. Basically, we need to craft runic stones. To make them, you need to drop on pedestals in the altar temple three things. Stone, paper, and an ancient gem. First two, you already have. So the last thing is the ancient gem. There is the recipe. The only thing that we are missing is sulfur. To get sulfur, you need to mine swamp soil and then smelt it and then smelt it again? Piece of cake, don't you think? I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I guess. Uh, maybe not so much. Where the heck am I going to find swamp soil? Whoa, this is the coolest recipe I've ever ever seen in my entire life. So we already have the piece of paper. I just have to go mine swamp soil. Where am I going to find swamp soil? Can somebody please tell me where I'm gonna find swamp soil? Is it over here? Wait, is this swamp soil? Oh my gosh, it was literally right here the entire time. Okay, I'm gonna get as much swamp soil as I can for now. So what I've gotta do now is I've gotta smelt it and then smelt it again. And I remember seeing a sign over here. Yep, smeltery. So if we go straight over here this way, we're about to go into a new section of the map. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared. What the heck is this? Is this the smelting pot? What? I don't even know how to get up here. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way and then this way. I, I'm so confused right now. Do I just drop it in here? What if it takes my swamp soil away from me? Okay, I have now deposited my swamp soil. What the heck is going to happen? Guys, I'm so confused. I just put all my swamp soil in the giant smelter and nothing's happening. Like, look, it's just sitting inside of here, but it's not smelting, dang it. Do I have to power this thing? I mean, it is kind of huge. I just don't know what to power it with. Guys, I don't think that big smelter thing is working, so we're just gonna go ahead and build ourselves our own smelting furnace thing. I mean, technically, if we think about it, we've got more than enough wood, probably more wood than we will literally ever need, which means we've got some pretty dadgum reliable fuel sources. Oh, the canyon was this way the whole time. Oh my gosh, I never even saw this. This is amazing. What the heck we got? Guys, I even see diamonds down there. Okay, I am really, really looking forward to eventually getting down there. 
I actually don't know how to get down there, though. Like, how would I? Oh, oh, there's vines. What the heck is this? Guys, this is the coolest canyon I've ever seen. Okay, sorry, I should not get too distracted. We need to build ourselves a furnace. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, while we're at it, we've got a pretty fast pickaxe. We might as well go ahead and make two of them. You know what I'm saying? I should probably get some coal while we're at it. And you know, I feel like maybe I should even grab some of this gold, but I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. You know what I mean? And I keep seeing this like glowing white thing. Is this thing a teleporter? Oh my gosh, it launches you back up to the top. That is sick. All right, Mr. Craft and Bench, I need you to craft me a couple of these bad mama jambas. Thank you so much, Craft and Bench. Let's put down some of these fern eyes. We're gonna put one right here. Okay, JK, we gotta put it on open grass. We're gonna put both of these bad boys right over here. All right, we're gonna put the swamp soil in here and then some more swamp soil. And then now we must wait. And once we smelt it, we're not done. We have to smelt. Oh my gosh, guys. It's smelting so flipping fast. Holy moly. I don't even know if this is legal, but this thing is smelting. So now we're going to smelt it again. All right. Taking out the rest of the swamp soil. Now I'm putting it in there. Look at it, ladies and gentlemen. We now got ourselves some flipping, dipping, tipping, ripping sulfur. Man, life is crazy in Minecraft. Uh-oh. I'm getting a message down below. And now combine all the ingredients in the ancient gym and drop it with stone and paper on top of separate pedestals and the altar temple. Goodness gracious, this is the craziest thing I've ever done in Minecraft. Oh, wait. I totally forgot to make this. We need a diamond before we can even make the ancient gym. I'm such a dweeb. So right now, guys, we've got the written piece of paper, but for the runic stones, we need that plus we need whatever the heck this thing is, and then we need that thing over there, too. I knew I should have grabbed myself a diamond while I was down there. Dang it. We even need a piece of redstone, too, and sulfur, of course. And then I think we just need quartz dust, and that's the only thing we need. So we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna grab myself just a couple of diamonds. You know, I don't want to get too much just in case somebody or something rather gets mad. Okay, so we should have everything we need to craft the ancient gem. We just need to put a piece of quartz right here and wham blam, we've got the ancient gem. This is so cool, guys. <sighs> guys, why am I so nervous? Currently, right now, I'm literally heading to the altar. So what we have to do is you have to place a piece of stone and then the paper and then the ancient gem. Ooh. Whoa! 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 What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, nine runic stones. We are now on the last straight. Take a look at this mod. What the heck am I holding right now? You need to construct this mold in front of the smeltery. Then drop into it sulfur, coal, iron ingots. And the smeltery will automatically make an alloy out of these materials and cast it into the sword. We are so close. Come on, get to work. Aye, aye, Captain, I'm on it. So right now, guys, I think I've, I, I'm missing coal, but we can easily go get some more of it. I think basically what we're gonna need, guys, is we're gonna need a lot of stone and we're gonna have to smelt some stuff. So we're gonna need a pretty good amount of stone, guys. I'm gonna get ourselves a pretty good chunk over here. And don't forget, we're also gonna need coal, not only to power the furnaces, but on top of that, apparently we've gotta place it inside of this giant thing that we're about to, like, look at this mold, man. This mold is insane, but I'm still so excited to finally have the world's oldest sword in Minecraft. You have no idea how excited I am to hold that thing in my hands and to test that bad boy out. I might even make it on the History Channel, okay? I might even become famous or something like that. The news will talk about Preston, the man who crafted the world's oldest sword in Minecraft. And then I can finally buy so much Chipotle. Oh, it's gonna be great. Oh, okay guys. I've just smelted all my stone. I should have way, 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 way more than enough. Wait, I might have to craft some more runic stone because I just realized it's nine on the top and I think it's also, oh man, do we have to craft more runic stones? Are you kidding me? Oh boy, they never said it was gonna be easy, but uh, holy moly, I knew it was too good to be true, man. Whenever something seems very easy in life, usually that means something is wrong, but that's okay. We have tons and tons of backup materials and supplies, which is not a big deal. So I've already got the ancient gym made, which is, you know, easy peasy. 
and I've got this stone made, but I think I do need to make myself another piece of paper and boy. Okay, I gotta remember everything we need for it. I know what I've gotta do is get ourselves some water. Put the water inside the barrel. I'm trying to remember without cheating. Okay, do we put hemp inside of it now? I think we put hemp inside of it. I can't remember. No, I think I just did it out of order. Wait, maybe I did it. I think we put the rotten flesh in there and that's how we get, the yeah. There we go, there we go. Okay, let me get this bad boy back out here. Okay, get into one. I feel like a slave right now to the world's oldest sword. I've been working and working on the farm every day and I'm just, it's just it's so much work. All right, put that back in there. I think there's already some hemp in there and now I've got a place in there, the gel. Take that gel. Aha, now I'm going to collect myself some hemp pulp, throw it over here so it can dry. Then once it dries, it is gonna become paper. Then we can throw this, the gem and stone back on those altar pieces over there. And then we should have every piece required to craft this crazy looking thing. Wham, oh shmoney. Wham, uh, sk sk blam. Okay, and, uh, take that. Goodness gracious, this Minecraft animation, it's scary. It's so cool, it's scary, but I love it anyways. Ah! Give me them runic stones, boy. Okay, we should have literally everything, if not way more than what we need to craft this bad boy. It told me to build this mold. It told me to build it right here, guys. So if I'm not mistaken, it's just eight pieces. This should be pretty easy to build, just like so. Yes, yes, okay, and then we're gonna put the stone over here, just like that, and then here we go, and it's been crafted. Okay, now that we've done this, it said that we have to put sulfur, coal, and iron ingots. It never said how many iron ingots, though, so I'm, I'm kind of confused. Okay, so we're gonna put in, oh, I don't even, um, okay, whoa, whoa, what just happened? Okay. Okay, um, we need coal. We need coal, guys. I forgot the coal in the furnaces. How could I do this? I'm such a pleb. Okay, okay, I've got the coal. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Smelter, wait up. Wait up, bro. I just gotta put some coal inside of you. Uh, okay, I'm sorry about that. Here you go. There's a ton of coal. Hopefully this makes it up to you. It's still, guys, it's not working. I put sulfur, I put coal. Do I have to put more iron ingots in here? I, I, what the heck do I do? Please accept this iron. Oh no, guys. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys, I found out why it's not working. So what I'm supposed to do is put another one down here. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, okay. What just happened? Whoa, whoa, what the heck is this? Is this it? Oh my gosh, you have crafted the world's oldest sword. Quickly, you need to cool it with water so that you could use it. Just drop it into a water source. Um, okay, okay, I gotta go drop it into a water source. I've got a bucket. Wait, can I drop it into a, wait, can I drop it in here? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, hopefully this is okay. Um, whoa, what the heck just happened? What the heck? Guys, guys, what the heck is this? I have the world's oldest sword. Um, okay, so, uh, the world's oldest sword finally has been crafted. So if you guys were ever curious how to craft the world's oldest sword in Minecraft, well, here you go. Now you got it, ladies and gentlemen. With the world's oldest sword, we have saturation infinitely, infinite jump boost three, infinite speed four, infinite strength, infinite regeneration, and infinite resistance. Not to mention, guys, but look at these particle effects. I've got like this ancient looking trail effect. It's like purple and like white numbers and letters. It's crazy. And not to mention, but look at this. Whoa, what just happened? What just happened? What the heck did I just do? I did not mean to do that. Oh, uh, okay. Um, guys, I just blew up all the signs right here. So, uh, that's probably not a good thing. Okay, so I went back into the previous part of my video. Apparently Q, F and shift all do magical things. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, oh my gosh, if you throw the sword, it's like a giant explosion. Like, let me do that again just so you guys can see. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Yo, I just yeeted everything in my way. And then if you hold shift, what happens? Uh oh, wait a second. Whoa! Holy cow! I'm flying! I'm flying. I'm flying. Um, 
Um, okay, this is freaking awesome. Woo! <laughs> oh, man, this sword. Oh, you don't even have to hold it. You just press it down, and I'm literally... What happens if I throw the sword? Whoa! Holy moly! Okay. Okay. Um... There's a fireball in the freaking air right now. I'm gonna smack it. Whoa! Okay, I don't think I've pressed the F key yet. What the heck just happened? I just spawned in. I think I just broke my Minecraft. No, wait, 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 wait. I think we're good. Maybe we're not. My Minecraft is literally frozen from the awesomeness of the oldest sword in Minecraft. Holy cow. We've got beacons. We've got spawners. What the heck? And it doesn't even tell me, guys. It literally doesn't even tell me how much damage the sword does. That's how much damage it does. But we're not done yet, guys. We're gonna summon the Minecraft with a... Oh, there it is. We've got to kill it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Ah, oh, come here, Wither. Oh, oh, he's one shot. He's one shot. Come here, Wither. Dang it. You won't escape me, buddy. Go! Oh, we just killed the Wither, ladies and gentlemen. That's how crazy this sword is. Whoa, what just happened? What was that? I, like, just floated for a second. So, I, uh, that, this is just crazy, man. I'm loving this sword. Wait, how much damage does it do if I throw the sword down? Okay, okay, it does a pretty good amount of damage, but not as much as I thought it did. Come here, Wither, come here, Wither, we're taking you out, yes! Okay, but we're not done yet. We now need to spawn the Dragon of Ender. Oh, boys, let's go. We're gonna take this, wait, um, why did the, dra okay, I think this is happening because we're not supposed to spawn him in the overworld. Um, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave these dragons here, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this was how to craft the world's oldest sword in Minecraft. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what sword I need to craft next in Minecraft, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey!